the Kentucky grave of Colonel Daniel Boone. Hey everybody, this is Russ from Family Tree Nuts and I'm in Frankfort Cemetery in Frankfort, Kentucky. At the grave of someone that needs no introduction, Colonel Daniel Boone and his wife, Rebecca Brian Boone. The grave sits at a beautiful location on a ridge line overlooking the Kentucky Capitol Building and downtown Frankfort. It is a popular spot for many people, not just because of its historical significance, but also its beauty. You can see the signs in the cemetery to follow the yellow spotted lines, and they will lead you to Daniel's grave. The spot has a few parking spaces, and you walk down a short path to reach his monument. The monument has a strong wrought iron fence. Let's go take a closer look. On the front, it has his name, Daniel Boone. He is pictured wearing a coonskin cap and buckskins in front of a cave. It is important to note that Daniel actually didn't wear a coonskin cap. On the left side of the monument, Daniel was pictured with a pioneer man on a ridge line. On the back side, we have Rebecca Boone's name and an image of her milking a cow. On the right side of the monument, we see an image of Daniel engaged in combat with Native Americans. I know what some of you are saying. Daniel wasn't buried here in Kentucky. He's buried in Missouri. In 1799, Daniel Boone was 65 years old, and he was invited to move to Upper Louisiana, modern-day Missouri. The Spanish wanted Daniel to serve as a commandant and a judge of the Fimosage Valley just west of St. Louis. He spent most of his last years living at his son Nathan's home. Daniel died in 1820 and was buried next to his wife Rebecca on the farm of his daughter Jemima Boone Calloway. Later, Jemima and her husband Flanders Calloway were buried next to them. You may remember the 1776 story of Jemima Boone and the Callaway sisters when they were living at Boonesboro and their canoe drifted too close to shore and they were captured by Native Americans. They left clues and were rescued three days later by a group led by Daniel and included her eventual husband, Flanders Calloway. This story became epic in literature and is said to be the inspiration of the story, Last of the Mohicans. I bring this up to show you how history often has stories that overlap. In 1845, a deal was struck to bring Daniel and his wife Rebecca to this spot here in Kentucky. To this day, there is much controversy. Is Daniel buried here in Kentucky or is he buried in Missouri? Missouri says that the wrong bones were exhumed and that Daniel's grave was already occupied with a body when he died. So Daniel was buried at the foot of the grave. It's quite an ordeal, and some folks get pretty heated when discussing it. The Friends of Daniel Boone's Burial Site in Missouri said in 2010 that some of Daniel's bones were moved to Kentucky, but his heart and his brain remain there in Missouri. I'm not sure if Daniel's buried in Missouri or Kentucky. I'll leave it for you to decide. So here we are at the grave site of the great Colonel Daniel Boone, one of the very first pioneers to enter into the land of Kentucky one of the fathers of Kentucky, one of the icons of American history, an American patriot, and definitely a hero. I don't think it's important as to whether Daniel's really buried in Missouri or if he's buried here in Kentucky. I think it's important that we honor and remember him and the impact that he had to our great nation. And remember, family tree nuts, let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree. Like what you see? Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the little bell so you get notifications as to when we post new videos. And you can find out more about us and contact us at familytreenuts.com.
www.ghostofthecoast.org.